greetings to all figure skating fans. In the coming minutes on the main events of the day, Olympic champion Kamila Valeva and other Russian figure skaters will perform in Mongolia in the spring. This is reported by a Mongolian news portal. The Russian skaters are expected to perform in Ulaanbaatar in April or May at Steparina. Steparina was built in 2021 to International Olympic Committee standards. It has a capacity of 2,600 spectators. Olympic figure skating champion Maxim Marinin shared his opinion on Kamila Valieva's performance this season. The journalist asked Marinin that on the one hand, Valieva is competing after a tough Olympics, but on the other, he often read that fans wonder why Kamila is always laughing. The fact that she has continued to skate, tells her story on the ice in the free skating program, has regained almost athletic form with intense growth, speaks only of her strong character. It is this that leaves no one indifferent. We love athletes not only for their titles, but also for doing things that others cannot do. Any talent, especially a talent like Valiva, is like communicating with the creator who breathed a gift into this goal. This season she has made herself talked about again, and it's beautiful. And the fact that she laughs all the time, what should she do, cry or something? She is young and beautiful, there is no reason to be sad. Everything is ahead of her and life is beautiful, I'm sure she'll do well, said Marinin. The lineup for the 2023 Winter Universiade has been released. Kaori Sakamoto, Mai Mihara, Kim Yi Lim, Yuma Kajiyama, Shun Sato, and Nikolaj Mamola will take part in the tournament. The figure skating competitions will be held from January 13th to 15th. There will be no pair events at the Summer Universiade. The full list of participants is published on the competition website. Before I continue to update you, please take a few seconds of your time and subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you very much. Russian figure skater Lyubov Rupsova posted a photo on crutches. Lyubov broke her leg while trying to perform a triple axel in training. Everything happened in training, Lubov tried to do a triple axel, did not reach a little bit. All examinations have not been completed yet, there will be a control examination, so there will be more information, said coach Alexei Vasilevsky. Olympic figure skating champion Maxim Marinin shared his opinion on why Alexandra Trusova failed to win at major tournaments. If we talk about Sasha Trusova, her talent is phenomenal, it's like a big diamond. But in order to highlight all the facets, it takes time, it takes trust in the person who took the job to reveal the magnificent diamond to the world, and Sasha herself knows that she is much more capable than everyone else. I don't know how soon anyone will be able to replicate what Sasha showed at the Olympics, it's an outstanding achievement in technical terms. And when such talent is not confirmed by titles, of course, questions arise in the mind. Why is it so? What's the reason? Sasha's skating is a bright flash that everyone remembers and appreciates, but, in my opinion, to win at the highest tournaments, an athlete must be predictable and manageable. A coach can't play roulette for luck at this level. Again I stipulate that I am expressing my opinion, what I observe from the sidelines, maybe I am wrong. But her lack of gold medals doesn't make her any less popular, Sasha has plenty of fans, she's loved and appreciated, the question is her personal satisfaction and ambition. Much depends on Sasha herself what she wants from figure skating, Marinin said. Italian figure skater Daniel Grassl is ready to start training with the Terry Tubrids on a permanent basis, a major Russian sports portal has reported, citing sources familiar with the situation. Earlier it was reported that Grassl came to Moscow and visited Kristalny. The photo with the Italian figure skater was published by Arseny Fedotov, a disciple of Tubrids. The photo was later deleted. In the summer, Grassl left coach Lorenzo Magri and moved to the USA, where he began working with Alexei Letov and Olga Genacheva. However, in December it was reported that the skater had returned back to Italy. According to the sports website, Grassl and Tuprids are close to starting cooperation on a permanent basis, with the final decision resting with the Russian coach. Russian coach Tatiana Tausova commented on Daniel Grassl's desire to cooperate with Russian coach Terry Tuprids. It's normal if an athlete wants to work with another coach, we've all worked with foreigners. Pupils ask and we have to work with them, I am calm about it. I have cooperated with many countries. Japan, America, Canada, France, Italy and Finland. Terry is a good coach, she has good group work going on, Tarasova said. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Subscribe to the channel, do not forget to like it and give your opinion in comments, see you soon.